Welcome to Norton High School. Tonight we have a varsity football matchup between the Norton Lancers and Nipmuc Regional. On the screen, Norton in purple going left to right. Nipmuc receiving the kickoff. And he's brought down at about the 26 yard line. So Nipmuc will start from there, first and 10. Quarterback for Nipmuc, Josh Giancola, number seven tonight. On the first play, that one goes on the ground. Norton able to pick up the fumble, and they'll start down in Nipmuc's territory, first and 10. A quarterback today for the Norton Lancers, number six, Jake Ogilvy. And there's a handoff going to the right. Able to pick up a few yards before being brought down. now in the shotgun formation. Hand off up the middle and then brought down quickly. That was number 34, Aman Farid. the ball on the 16 yard line down in Nipmuc territory. Ogilvy again in the shotgun formation and a handoff to Farid again. And he's brought down, maybe getting just back to the line of scrimmage. pass and that one's complete to the left side and a pickup of about two and that one went to uh, number 11 uh, Rodriguez Rodriguez in motion. Ogilvy back to pass. And that one's gonna go over the head of Rodriguez in the end zone and incomplete. So 
So this will bring up fourth down for Norton. Does look like they're gonna send out the punting unit. Or field goal try. Now let's see. I believe that's number 19. Andrew. And that's good, folks. So Norton, the first one's on the board. They're up now 3-0 here in the first quarter. So Lancers now will be kicking off to Nipmuc up 3-0. Able to capitalize there on a quick fumble on the very first pass. So, uh, excuse me, on the very first play from Nipmuc. So, we'll see what they can do offensively now with Norton kicking off to them left to right on your screen. Now, the kicker for Norton is Andrew Strogny. able to bring it out to about the 22 or 23 yard line. So Nipmuc will start from there, first and 10. Hand off to the right, able to break a tackle, and then brought down. Uh, pick up of a few yards there. Nipmuc able to pick up another few yards, just shy of the first. Actually, I believe they got enough of the first. The chains are moving. And off again, and then brought down quickly. And off by Nipmuc, short, second down. Back to pass, and that's intercepted. And he's got some room. Knocked out just before getting in the end zone. So Ben Granger on the interception for Norton brings it all the way down, close to the goal line, and then gets knocked out of bounds. So Norton very quickly here in the first quarter with two takeaways, and let's see if they can capitalize here. Down at about the five-yard line. Actually, around the four-yard line, I believe. Oh, 
Handoff goes right to Rodriguez. And there's the signal, folks. Rodriguez in for the touchdown. And the kick there is good. So not able to capitalize there on the interception. They bring it all the way down inside the 10. A couple plays later in for the touchdown. So a correction there on the touchdown, folks. Uh, ben Granger able to bring that in for North. So Norton now kicking away to a Nipmuc. Caught around the six yard line and runs up the middle and he's brought down at about the 22 yard line. So Nipmuc will stop there first and 10. Looks like there's going to be a timeout call. Both teams will head on over to the sidelines, draw something up here. We'll be right back. So we're back now after the timeout. And there's a handoff again up, up the middle. No one able to gang tackle for a modest gain. So this will bring up second down now for Nipmuc Regional. Looks like quarterback again in the shotgun formation. And the quarterback keep, he goes up the middle and then brought down after a gain of about five. goes to number 12 and he's brought down so this will now bring up fourth down for Nipmuc on their own 31 Looks like there's a flag down on the field. I believe that's going to go against the defense. 
So that will be enough for a first down for Nipmuc. That's a costly penalty. They'll move the chains and Nipmuc will now be first and 10 from the 36 yard line. Back to pass, now it's complete. And Norton defense right there to bring him down for a pickup of about a yard. So this will bring up third and long for Nipma. <laughs> Quarterback back to pass and goes down the middle and that one nearly intercepted again by Norton. So Norton defense, the only ones to get their hands on it, almost another interception. This will bring up fourth down for Nitma. And it looks like they'll send out the punting unit. Looks like that's going to be down just about midfield at the 50-yard line, and Norton Lancers will start from there. First and 10 with the lead, 10 to nothing, with just over two minutes left to play in the first quarter. Inside a little bit high and incomplete. just about the 10 yard line. So this will bring up a first and 10 for 
The Lancers? So it looks like they're gonna go over to the sidelines. We'll be right back. So one of the nip up players heads over to the sidelines. Looks like he'll get looked at over there and we're back to play with Norton first and 10. The pitch over to Rodriguez, and he's brought down. Rodriguez again on the handoff and goes up the middle and picks up about a yard or so. So this now brings up third down for Norton. <laughs> Quarterback on the center. Drops back to pass and lets it go and there's a touchdown. So completed pass to Ben Granger. So Norton sends out the extra point team. The kicker at number 19 for Norton. That's Andrew Strogny. The kick is up, and that is good. So Norton now in the lead, 17-0 with seven seconds on the clock. So Lancers now will be kicking off to Nitmuck with seven seconds on the clock here in the first quarter. Bring it out to just about the 24 yard line. <laughs> so we got another player down on the field, folks. We'll be right back. So we are now back, folks. This is the start of the second quarter here in Norton. Norton with a lead to this point, 17-0 over Nitmuck. And the quarterback back to pass, lets it go. And again, it looks like we have another interception, folks. 
That one hauled down by none other than Ethan Rodriguez. So no, and now first and 10 after the interception. Quarterback back to pass, he's gonna keep it. And brought down after a gain of about two. First down now for Norton. Again, the handoff and brought right down. That handoff to Farid. And Nipmuc was able to break through the line and bring him right down. So this now brings up second down for Norton. Ogilvy back to pass and he lets one go down the middle. And there's a completion to number seven, Ben Granger. And Granger able to bring it all the way down to the 20 yard line. So good completion there, Ogilvy to Granger. Handoff there to number 34, Farid, and he's brought down. Handoff was to number 34, Farid, second down. So this will now bring up second and nine for Norton. Looks like we've got Farid and Rodriguez in the backfield. We'll go be back to pass and there's a flag on the field. He keeps it and is brought down. Looks like we got another nearby player down on the field. It looks like he's gonna be able to be helped up. So flag down on the field, we'll see what that one is.
So it looks like that was a holding penalty that was declined. There's a pass complete to number seven, Granger. And then he's brought down. So this will now bring up fourth down for Norton. And it looks like they're gonna go for it. Uh, timeout is called by Nipmuc. Both teams head to the sidelines, folks. We'll be right back. So we're back now. Fourth down for Norton. Will be back to pass and he lets it go. And that one's knocked away by Nip Muck defender. The attempt there was to Rodriguez in the end zone and that one knocked away. So Nip Muck will take over there on downs and they'll stop first and 10. From just shy of the 20. Quarterback back to pass, that one's complete on the near side. And then knocked out of bounds. Looked like that was to uh, number nine, at Liam Dorr. So this brings up second down, and there's a handoff up the middle, breaks the tackle, and then brought down after a gain of a few. And off up the middle, and that was at number 42, Aiden Gilbert, that was able to bring him down. So the chains move now. This will be first and 10 for Nipmuc. At just about the 30 yard line. Quarterback rolls to the left and sends a pass down the middle and that one's picked again. I can't. So it looks like that one picked off by Ethan Rodriguez.
Although pitch back to the left and he's got some open field. So Rodriguez again able to pick up several yards for Norton. That one handed off to Rodriguez, goes up the middle, and again picks up several yards, goes right through the Nipmuc defense. So this now brings up third and four for Norton. So it looks like he's gonna get all the way down to the goal line. So this now brings us to first and goal and it looks like On the run, they're gonna be brought down. And off to Rodriguez, goes over to the right. And looks like he's able to break the plane and he is in for a Norton Lancer touchdown. So with two minutes left till halftime, folks, Norton with a commanding lead over Nitmark, 23-0. And it looks like Norton will go for the extra point. The kick is up and it is good. So Norton Lancers at 24 to zero over Nipmuc. And we got 203 left on the clock till halftime. We'll be right back. So we're back now with just over two minutes left to play till halftime. Norton kicking off to Nipmuc right to left on your screen. That ball caught at the 10 yard line and 
coming over to the near side, gets it all the way up to the 30, breaks the tackle, and then brought down. So Nip Muck will stop there first and 10. There's a handoff to the left to number 12. That's Thomas Howell. He's brought down. That was Jacob Giardini on the run for Nipmuc. This will bring up third and six. Quarterback back to pass and lets one go, and that one is caught. Gets out to just shy of midfield, enough for a first down. So it looks like there's a timeout, folks. Both teams head to the sidelines. With 25 seconds on the clock, we'll be right back. So we're back now again with only 25 seconds on the clock. Nipmuc quarterback back to pass, sends one down the field, and that one's batted away. Looks like number 21 for Norton able to get the hands on it. That's Zach Soares. Looks like we have another Nipmuc player down on the field. So the trainers will head out there to make sure he's okay. And we'll be right back. So we're back now with only 20 seconds on the clock. Let's see if Nipmuc can make something happen here and try to get on the scoreboard here in the first half. They're at midfield. Quarterback back to pass, and he's gonna let one go down the near side. And that one incomplete. So it looked like that pass was attempted to Liam Dorr in and out of his hands. That pass caught here on the near side and then knocked out of bounds.
Oh, and again, that one batted away by number 21, Zach Soares. So that will bring us now to halftime, folks. Norton with a lead at 24-0 over Nipmuc. We'll be right back. So we're back now, folks, here with the start of the second half in Norton High School with the game between Norton Lancers and Nipmuc Regional. After a first half of play, Norton in the lead, 24-0. And now it looks like Nipmuc will be kicking off to Norton now. If you're just tuning in, Norton's in purple, Nipmuc in white. Sends a dribbler and they'll cover that up at the 35 yard line. So Norton Lancers will stop first and 10 from their own 35. Good crowd here tonight in Norton. Definitely chill in the air. Fall is here. And it looks like there's gonna be a timeout called already. So both teams head over to the sidelines. We'll be right back. So we're back now after the timeout. And that one's caught, but looks like the ball goes down on the ground, and I believe Nitmuck might have been able to get the ball. So Norton with the fumble after the reception, and Nitmuck able to take it away. So this is the first turnover for Norton. We'll see if Nitmuck can capitalize here. They're in Norton territory down at the 37-yard line, so they'll stop first and 10 from that point. The handoff up the middle and a gain of maybe about one, he was brought right down. That handoff was to number 33, I believe, Jacob Giardini. What a back, back to pass, let's it go. That one's complete down the middle and then brought down. So tackle I believe was by Ben Granger, the reception by Christopher Casey. So Nipmuc now with the first down. And that one again, intercepted. So Norton again with the interception, Ben Granger able to take it all the way back out to just about the 40 yard line, so Norton on defense tonight has been able to capitalize.
They hand off there to Fariba. The whistle's on the field and a flag down. Looks like I believe that's gonna go against Nitmark. And I'll move the ball out to the 45 yard line. Like with the hard count, Nick Muck off sides. So that will be enough to move the chains and give the Northern Lancers a first down. They're now at midfield. caught by Ethan Rodriguez and he's brought down after about a yard gain. So this will now bring up second and eight for Norton. Rodriguez in motion, back to pass, and caught over the middle. So Sinclair on the catch there for Norton to pick up a few yards. Off to Rodriguez over to the right. Breaks a few tackles. And he's gonna have enough for a first down. The chains will move once again for Norton. So this will now be first and 10 from 32. A handoff up the middle, able to pick up a couple yards. And off again up the middle, and that was Farid. And off to Farid, third down, Lancers.
Quarterback keep and opening up the middle. That's going to be enough for a first down. So the quarterback keep, Jake Ogilvy, picks up the first. So ball now on the 19 yard line, first and 10 for Norton. Fareed to the right of Ogilvy in the backfield. And there's a handoff to Fareed. He's gonna break it open on the left side and he'll get it all the way down to the five yard line. That handoff to number three, Kyle Gass. Fareed now to the left of Ogilvy. Ogilvy back to pass, looking for an opening. He's gonna keep it himself. And he'll go down at the 10 yard line. So we've got three receivers here to the near side on the left. Fareed in the backfield, he goes into motion. Ogilvy again, and sends it over to Ethan Rodriguez. Looks like he might have stepped out of bounds. And looks like he went out around the seven yard line. So I believe that's gonna bring up fourth down. So this now brings up fourth down for Norton. And they bring out the field goal kicker once again. That's Andrew Strogny. The kick is up. And it is good. So another three points there for Norton. Now with a 27-0 lead over Nipmuc. We're down to three minutes, 15 seconds in the third quarter. We'll be right back. So we're back now with the kickoff. Norton kicking to Nipmuc right to left on your screen. They're in the lead 27-0 here in the third quarter. Just over three minutes left to play. That ball caught at about the seven yard line and Coming over to the near side, makes it out to the 20, and then brought down at about the 21-yard line. Nipmuc will stop there. First and 10 at their own 21. First down, Nipmuc. Okay. 
So again, we got a good crowd here tonight in Norton for this game. It's been pretty much all Norton since the beginning of the game. Defensive takeaways have led to several points for them tonight. Keep. That's Josh Giancola. He picks up a few. Went down to just about two and a half minutes left to play here in the third quarter. Quarterback back to pass, lets one go, and that one's complete at the 30 yard line, then able to pick up two yards after the catch. That'll be enough for a first down. They're gonna move the chains. over the middle. That ball caught by Liam Dorr. Looks like both teams gonna go over and talk things over. It must be a timeout. We'll be right back. So we're back now and Nick Muck at about midfield. There's a pass over to the right, left side, of the, and breaks one tackle, picks up a buddy yard. Ball now on the 48 yard line. This is second down for Nick Muck. over to the right hand side and a pickup of about a yard. Still just shy of midfield. This brings up third now. I suspect they'll try to throw down field. We got 30 seconds on the clock for the third quarter. And there's a handoff up the middle. No game. So, tackle there by number 42, Aiden Gilbert was able to get in there. And that will bring the third quarter to a close. So after three quarters of play, Norton 27, Nipmuc 0. We'll be back in just So we're back now. This is the start of the fourth quarter, and there's an incomplete pass over the middle.
So Norton's offense now will take over at about the 47 yard line, 48 yard line in Nipnot territory. Oh, mishandled on the snap. Able to get the throw off, and that is incomplete. So Ogilvy drops the snap. Able to pick it back up, get the throw off, but that one incomplete for Norton. So this will bring up second down. Hand off to Farid, and he's brought right down as soon as he gets the ball. Hand off to Farid, number 34, for a short game. This will now bring up third down for Norton. So all these games here in Norton brought to you by Norton Media Center. We appreciate you tuning in watching these games. So nice job there by number three, Kyle Gass. So first down now for Norton. Hand off to Farid. And brought down quickly with about a yard gain. So second down now for Norton. Fareed to the right of Ogilvy. Drops back to pass and that's complete. Breaks a tackle. And then brought down, that was complete to Kyle Gass. So the chains now move for Norton. Now heading back into the huddle. This is second down for Norton.
We've got Granger and Rodriguez wide to the left. Hand off to Fareed. Able to pick up a few. This will now bring up a first and goal. Hand off and Fareed goes in almost untouched. So the fans like it here when the lights are flashing. Another Norton touchdown. This will now bring on Andrew Strogny for the extra point. And that is good. So this has been all no and Lancers tonight here at the Lancer Field, 34-0. We got just over six minutes left to play in the game. Nick Nick yet to get on the board, so we'll see if they've got anything in them to get in the end zone tonight. No and will be kicking to Nick left to right on your screen. Nice kick there that gets all the way down to about the five yard line. Brought out to the 10. And taken down at about the 22 yard line. So Nick Muck will stop there. First and 10 from their own 22. So it looks like there's gonna be a timeout called on the field. Both teams head on over to the sidelines. We'll be right back. So we are now back, folks. That pass is complete on the near side. And then brought down close to a first down. That will be enough for a first down, so they'll move the chains. That was Jacob Nagja on the catch. And number two is gonna send the pass down on the far side over the head of the receiver, so that one's incomplete. The attempt down the far sideline was to Liam Dore. And Nipmuc tries a little bit of trickery, did not work. It'll bring up second down.
So clock winding down. This is going to bring us almost to the two minute mark. Hand off to number 42. And that's Dashel Korea. Hand off to number 42 from Nimrod. Going down. And looks like that handoff was to Christopher Casey. So we're down to under a minute left to play. Some of the fans are starting to leave. They want to beat the traffic out of here. Norton's going to be going home happy. That's one, and that is the game, folks. Norton Lancers with a huge win tonight over Nipmuc Regional. You can catch this and all the athletic events here in Norton on NortonMediaCenter.org. This has been Deb Carrero alongside Jeff Carr tonight on the camera. Have a great night.